Thank you for stopping by. Today's devotion is for June 6. The scripture says, As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Psalm 18 and verse 44. The law of God is as sacred as himself. It is a revelation of his will, a transcript of his character, the expression of divine love and wisdom. The harmony of creation depends upon the perfect conformity of all beings, of everything, animate and inanimate, to the law of the Creator. God has ordained laws for the government, not only of living things, but of all the operations of nature. But while nature, sorry, but while everything in nature is governed by natural laws, man alone, of all that inhabits the earth, is amenable to moral law. To man, the crowning work of creation, God has given power to understand his requirements, to comprehend the justice and beneficence of his law and its sacred claims upon him, and of man unswerving obedience is required. Parents have not restrained the selfishness of their children. Self-indulgence has been the object of pursuit. Through self-serving, multitudes are bound in servitude to Satan. They are the slaves of their own impulses and passions, while are under the control of the wicked one. In calling them to his service, God offers them freedom. Obedience to God is liberty from the thraldom of sin, deliverance from human passion and impulse. Willing obedience to God's requirements gives vital energy and power to the soul. A work enduring as the sun is done for the worker as well as for those for whom he labors. However limited the capacity of the one who engages in this work, the labor will be acceptable to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this new day and thank you for your blessings. Thank you for everything that you allow to happen in our lives because it is for a purpose. Satan can do nothing without your permission, just like he had to get your permission in order to cause all these calamities to happen to Job. So, Father, we understand that even though we believe in you and we trust in you and we obey you, that you will allow things to happen because there's still some areas in our lives that need to be perfected, that need to be fine-tuned. So we thank you for your love. We do ask that you will forgive us when we have not listened to the voice of your Holy Spirit. And we ask for forgiveness for our selfish ways, for when we do things without thinking about you and without thinking about others. We ask that you will help us, those of us who are parents, that you will help us to not allow our children to continue in their selfish habits, but to teach them what it means to be obedient to you and to your word. Help us to know that the devil is busy and we need to stand firm in your truth. Guide us, we pray, your will be done. Thank you so much for your love. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.